Hey friends! I'm back with another plan with me and this might be the last full week of April, is it? Yes it is because next week we're already starting May. Wow, it's gonna be May. Sorry, I will never do that again, I promise. Anyways, this is April 18th through April 24th and Easter literally just happened. I still have really cute Easter kits though, so I thought at least for this week, I'm gonna go ahead and use another one since we're all still hopefully in that spring celebration type vibe. So this kit is called Peeps. It's from Beautiful Planning. I have a code for you guys, MamaFriendly15, that gets you 15% off everything in the shop. And this is one of the newer kits. It is so stinking cute. Lots of pastels, but leaning more towards like the blues and the purples, some cooler colors, which I really love. But with just enough browns and reds and pinks to warm everything up a little. It's just very well balanced and the art is super, super cute. There were loads and loads of full boxes to choose from and so many different fashion girls, lots of different body types, hair colors, skin tones, etc. So because the kit came with so many stickers and I don't need all that many to fill my two pages worth of spread, I did the crop method, which is what I always do. I have a video linked in the description box actually of all of my planner videos that shows you how I do that in Silhouette Studio. But let me show you what I'm working with for this week in particular. So I've got the full boxes that I did choose, right? And I need eight because I use one for every day of the week. And then I also use one here in the sidebar. We have our bottom washi. There were two different styles. This is the style that I chose because it's the simpler one. Down here, we've got a couple of quarter boxes, although I don't think we have any birthdays this week or any special events either really, but that's fine. We'll probably figure out what to do with those. Second page, we have our glitter headers, another fashion girl for our sidebar, canceled and rescheduled stickers, our habit trackers, half boxes, a weekend banner, our deco down here, and then our days and dates to go on top for our date covers. That feels like not enough stickers somehow, except I'm pretty sure that that's all I use on any given spread. On this third page, this is not actually part of the kit, but it is from Beautiful Planning Shop. I just printed out a brand new sheet of these functional YouTube stickers. I like to use these in my planner to remind me what videos are meant to go live on my channel on any given day, but also I put them on during this video for you so that if there's something that sounds good to you and you wanna see it, you know when to come back. Obviously, I would love it if you would just subscribe and click the notification bell and then that'll let you know whenever I upload anything, but Time is short, I get it, so that way if there's only one video this week that sounds good to you besides this one, you know when to return to my channel and check it out. So let's go ahead and get started, and I typically like to start with my bottom washi. It's funny, because I say bottom washi, I think that's like a, a, a symbol really of just how much of a, of a relic I am when it comes to planner stickers and planner decorating because there used to be washi that people would sell to just go across all the headers or there was a washi that would go over the top to cover all the dates at once. I suppose depending on the shop um, or, or even depending on the kit, you might still find that. But these days, um, I haven't seen something like that in a long time. Typically the only washi you see, and this isn't even really washi. Washi is a kind of tape. This is just, that's just the name that we like adopted as a community for the long strip that goes at the bottom of the page. So um, the fact that I still call it bottom washi when there's no other washi that it needs to be differentiated from goes to show <laughs> how long I've been in this uh, planner sticker decorating community. I'm gonna put my weekend banner right over here. I absolutely love this style because the script still makes it really cute, but the fact that it's a chunkier script means that it's less likely that I'm gonna break it from here to there, which has happened on multiple occasions actually. Uh, oh, right, sidebar. So now I'm gonna climb up the page this way, starting with this very pretty full box. I still don't know what to call that besides the longer full box for my sidebar, which is kind of a mouthful, but there you go. Next, I'm gonna put down my habit trackers. And I typically use these to track things like my vitamins, my workouts, 
um, my Duolingo. I've hit over a year. I think I'm on day 417 of daily Portuguese practice. So that's very fun. And now the last thing I'm gonna do to complete this sidebar is put one of these full boxes. And I think, I, you know what? Let's go with the Easter basket, why not? I know Easter was yesterday, but that's fine. It's, it's still a vibe, it's still a mood. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, where's, oh, here they are. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm gonna put my numbers on my days. And once these are ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the book. I am also gonna take this time to put my glitter headers over these printed headers on the page so that everything is cute and themed. And once that's done, I'll meet you guys right back here. All right, pallies, so that is our foundation, if you will. The next thing I want to do is put down my full boxes. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm about 98% sure that there's no birthdays this week. And I'm about, let's say 80% sure that there's no special occasions or events or appointments going on this week. So um, that being said, I don't really, see the need to put the stickers in any particular like layout. I did choose to put the blue uh, glitter headers at the top because I didn't want them too close to the blue bottom washi. And then I figured the pink in the middle would be cute because it would leave just enough space between that and the date covers. And then the green down here, it's like kind of sandwiching the highlight color with the two cooler colors. I do have a tendency to overthink the placement of my stickers, by the way, in case you're new here. Welcome, now you know. This is so cute. This little like bunny topiary situation, adorable. And of course, you gotta have the peeps and the big ol' chocolate bunny. That of course you eat ears first, right? Like I know that that's a thing where some people eat it tail first, I almost said a different word. <laughs> some people eat it tail first, let's keep it PG, and um, some people eat it the correct way, which is ears first. So if you eat it some other way, let me know in the comments, or maybe your team tail. <laughs> let me know that too, I guess. Oh man, hold on, I got that a little bit crooked, but I don't know if it's so crooked that it's worth potentially hurting the sticker to pull it up and reposition it. I guess I've committed to trying. Alrighty. Okay, that worked out. That could have been worse. Oh, I didn't, you know what? Haha, <laughs> what we're gonna do then. Let's just bring this, this down just a little bit. And there you go. Now oh, I don't have to worry about continuing to mess with this one. And we got some fun cakes and a parfait maybe, and a cupcake, very cute. So that's pretty much it as far as the decor. Now for the YouTube stickers, I'm gonna do something a little different this week because it is a very different sort of schedule. There's a couple collabs this week. I've been doing, since the pandemic started, five videos a week. The washing machine just turned on, by the way, in case you guys heard that. Um, mom life, I have to record when I'm able and this was the time, so sorry. 
Um, yeah, since the pandemic started, I have been doing five videos a week consistently, but after two plus years of that, the schedule got to me a little bit. So I said, okay, fine, I will compromise four videos a week because I always post at least three. Four seemed like a good, you know, a sweet spot, if you will. This week I am doing five videos, but that's because, again, today you're getting the plan with me. And uh, this is actually my handwriting. Lots of people that decorate their planners really work hard to make sure that their handwriting is super, super cute because they want their planners to look their absolute best. Good on you, that's fantastic. I don't have the patience for that. So this is how I actually write. On Tuesday, I would typically post a vlog because I do always a planner video, two vlogs, and then some other random type of video, usually a recipe, sometimes a haul, sometimes a Disney homeschool video. This week I've got two collabs. So on Tuesday, instead of the vlog, you're getting the monthly, oh, that was hideous, grocery haul. And that's a collab hosted by Tiffany at Small Town Six and Jessica at Jessica Myros. So that's Tuesday, I think 11 a.m. I always announce the night before on my Instagram in the stories. So if you're not following me there, you should do that. A, because I'd love to have you, but also B, because that way, whatever goes on with my schedule, you'll be the first to know. On Wednesday then, I would typically put out the vlog that should have gone up on Tuesday, but I was invited to another collab. Um, we're doing our morning routines. So that, I honestly don't remember what time that's going live, but um, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you will find out the moment it goes up and I will probably tell you the day before also when to look out for it. So that means that there's two days left in the week and there's two vlogs left, right? So you're gonna get a vlog, I think it's episode 206, on Thursday. And that's the vlog that I'm recording or that I did record over Easter weekend. There was a birthday party, a whole lot of stuff went on. Now the AC kicked on, I can't catch a break. So this is from last Thursday through Sunday. And then on Friday, you're going to get another vlog. And that's the one that I'm recording from Monday to Wednesday. So actually you're gonna get to see an entire week in my life throughout the course of these two mornings since I'm releasing these two vlogs back to back and it's seven days worth of vlog. So that's the schedule for now. Um, next week is not gonna be quite so wild and we're probably gonna go back to our vlog on Tuesday, etc., etc. But this is what I had to do this week in order to accommodate these collabs. I don't decide when collabs go live if I'm not the one hosting them and I'm not hosting these. I was invited to participate in these. so. I'm very excited for all of these videos. I would love to know what you guys are up to this week. If there's anything special going on for you guys, what did you do this past weekend? Let me know all about it in the comments. In the meantime, I hope that you are all staying safe and I wanna thank you so very much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, even with all the background noise. And if you did, I hope that you will please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.